In this episode of Motive Garage presented by Spares Box, we tear the front end out of our R33 GTR Project No Secrets to get it refurbished. In our last episode, you would have seen that we installed everything in the rear of the car, and that's because we had already finished refurbishing underneath the back end of the car. Well, the front end hasn't been touched yet, and we need to pull it apart for a couple of reasons. Firstly, we have to take out the subframe and all the suspension so we can tear it all down, get it all cleaned up, powder coated, and it needs all new bearings uh, and ball joints, etc., in the front end. The other thing we need to do is we need to finalize all of the paint in the front. Now, at the paint shop, the engine bay got painted, but we still have a few bits underneath the chassis rails, inside the wheel arches that we want to make all fresh and brand new before we put all that suspension back in. So first step is let's get the front subframe out of the car, mask everything up and get into it. Have you seen the movie Wayne's World where they have that segment, Amazing Excellent Discoveries? And one of them is the suck cut. Well, this sucks and we're going to have to cut stuff. Uh, Lockie was pulling apart the subframe, went to pull the steering rack off, back two bolts, no problem. But continuing the tradition of terrible modifications that were done to this car, they welded the splitter mount bracket over the top of the holes that you need to get to the bolt to take the steering rack out. So basically, the steering rack is stuck in the car. So we're gonna get a grinder, grind these brackets off, grind it down smooth so it's not as ugly, so we can get the steering rack off and get this subframe powder coated. The magic of this car just never ends. What can we find next, Lockie? I don't wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna know. You missed half this build, so yeah, you're just at the tail end, but uh, yeah, wow. The car just never stops giving, does it? Have fun with that. So while the engine bay and chassis rails were being painted, we sent a lot of the parts in the front end off to get refurbished or replaced. Now, the subframe, along with many other parts, were sent off to high octane performance coatings to get powder coated and cleaned up. The finish is amazing, all looks nice and brand new. We had the steering rack refurbished because we didn't know the condition of it. So the easiest thing to do is just send it off. That'll get new bushes for it as well. Um, we have a white line front sway bar with new links and new bushes. Uh, GK Tech tie rods and tie rod ends, all brand new. Um, I'm actually going to be going back to using standard R33 GTR lower control arms. As you can see, powder coated. The guys at CID pulled apart the uprights, put new bearings in uh, with new kingpin, everything all fresh, brand new, including the hubs. Uh, we then had to get uh, white line bushes for the top so we can put the adjustable camber arm from GK Tech. And a very important piece of the puzzle for the suspension has arrived, and that is Shockworks coilovers. As you know, we talk about this every time we build a new project car, and we only use Shockworks because Chris always builds these to suit the application, and so far he has just never got it wrong. Uh, I got to test these out in the R32 GTR we built in America, and I must say they are exceptional. Uh, so they're going into our R33 GTR. They are set up as a bit of an all-rounder, street, circuit, and drag. As we said, this car would do all of the above. Uh, so we need to get them in the car. Now it's less than two weeks to GDR Festival. We have a lot to do on this car to get it ready for the event. So when you need to get a GTR built in a hurry, 
There's only one man you call, and that's Rob Arbolino from Cranked Motorsport. Well, all of the front suspension and brakes are back in the car, which meant we could put the wheels and tires on. If you've watched an earlier episode, you already know what the wheels are, but we're gonna leave everything else as a bit of a surprise. Why? Well, the Platinum Racing Products GTR Festival is only 36 hours away from right at the moment I'm filming this, and we are gonna unveil it at the show. Here's a little bit of a sneak peek. Look at that. That's all you're getting. If you wanna see how this car looks, you'll either have to come to GDR Festival at Sydney Dragway, or obviously the coverage that's gonna come out next time. Make sure you subscribe, because man, there's a lot of GTR stuff coming up.